السلام علیکم ناصری میں آپ کی میزبان زبرین عاشق آج کے جو مہمان ہے وہ ہے کشمیر یونیورسٹی کے کنٹرولر اگزامنیشن عزت ماب جناب ڈاکٹر ماجد زمان صاحب جن کے عمل تدریس اور انتظامیہ امور سے نسل نہ گورے نیا بن رہے ہیں آپ پیشن اور پروفیشن کو الگ کر کے ڈیڈیکیشن اور ڈیووشن سے اپنا فرض نبھا رہے ہیں آپ نے یونیورسٹی کے امتحان کے معیار کو بہتر بنایا صدر کشمیر اسٹوڈنٹ میں دل کی امین گہرائی سے بہت بہت استقبال السلام علیکم سر سب سے پہلے ہم بات کریں گے نیشنل ایجوکیشن پالیسی کے حوالے سے جو میں وہ کشمیر ایک واحد ایسی جگہ ہے جسے سب سے پہلے نیشنل ایجوکیشن پالیسی کو لاگو کیا اس میں سب سے بڑا رول کشمیر یونیورسٹی کا رہا ہے یہ خوشائن بات ہے دوسری جانب یونیورسٹی کے تحت انڈر گریجویٹس کے ایڈمیشن بھی مکمل ہو گئے ایون ان کی کلاسز بھی شروع ہو گئے لیکن طلبا ابھی تک نیشنل ایجوکیشن پالیسی سے نا واقف ہے آخر یہ نیشنل ایجوکیشن پالیسی کیا ہے ہمیں اس سے بھی روشناس کرائے کہ سابق تعلیمی پالیسی اور نئی تعلیمی پالیسی میں کیا فرق بہتری اس میں کنڈیشنز ہیں الحمد للہ امنگ دا فرسٹ یو ٹی ان پین انڈیا ٹو امپلیمنٹ نیشنل ایجوکیشن پالیسی ون دا اسٹوڈنٹ ایز دا ایبلٹی ٹو چوز سبجیکٹس فرام ملٹیپل اسٹریمس ٹل ناؤ دیر واز این ہارڈ لائن دیٹ از اے سائنس اسٹوڈنٹ از این آرٹ اسٹوڈنٹس وی ہیڈ ہارڈ ڈیفینیشن دیٹ دیر از اے بی کام بی ایس سی بی اے ناؤ اسٹوڈنٹ is graduating with multiple type of subjects he can have a subject a major in science and minor in arts uh, and besides this that a student can seek an exit at first year second year third year or he can complete his four year course one a student who has a good academic record of 7. cgp of 7.5 or more in first three years can proceed for a research mode in the final year and after if he retains this cgpa in the final year also then he can seek admission in phd directly he or she does not need to pursue the masters but if the cgpa is less than 7.5 in the first 3 years then a student can uh, opt for his uh, um, uh, honors courses and he can he or she after final year can uh, pursue uh, pg which will be for one year so fundamentally the uh, you know, the idea of national education policy is is to empower the student and it, the empowerment is not only in terms of duration and multiple entries and multiple exits the empowerment is also that a student can pursue 50 percent courses in the enrolled university and rest of the 40 uh, 50 percent outside the host university of which in totality 40 percent courses can be pursued online through MOOCs programs uh, available or 50% can he can pursue them offline from other universities so in totality this will be implementing uh, using academic bank of credits so students will be encouraged to enroll themselves in abc academic bank of credits academic bank of credits will allow the student to shuffle between the institutions uh, between universities between physical and virtual universities and institutions so in totality uh, we understand that the students uh, are facing certain issues in understanding national education policy kashmir university in the coming month uh, will be organizing orientation programs across kashmir valley to orient students uh, towards the nep this will be conducted in every district we will have an outreach program towards students and making them more aware of how national education policy shall function it also will make them understand how academic bank of credits will work and what is the role of digi locker so fundamentally in digi locker a student is supposed to uh, have an account with the digi locker which is a government of india initiative uh, and we the university of kashmir shall ensure that every result that is declared shall be uploaded on digi locker this will also empower student that we may have few years from now student will not be required a physical transcripts and uh, degree certificates they will end up having their virtual presence and they can download their academic record as and when they want 
and also because of academic bank of credit they can shuffle between institutions so in totality national education uh, policy uh, 2020 is a ground breaking it will make this is fundamentally a student empowerment policy which will empower students to have multiple specializations mul across streams so the hard line that he's a science student arts graduate or uh, or commerce graduate or business graduate has been done away with we have a more uh, fluid system where a student can choose specializations across the board so jaise aapne abhi baat ki dg locker ki talba ko iske liye kya kuch karne ki zarurat hai isse kya fayda hai talba ko dg locker uh, ek uh, government of india ka initiative hai it's here for some time it, it, basically there was an initiative by mhrd and uh, which was national academic depository nad and uh, in this nad uh, a student will have access to his entire academic record online so every time a result will be declared hum uske uh, jo details hain we will upload them all the student is the only thing the student is supposed to do is create his account in dg locker using his aadhar card and rest uh, it will be managed by us because there is no payment there is no effort from student only thing he or she is supposed to do is create an account in uh, dg locker sir aap se ye bhi jana chahenge national education policy mein jo entry aur exit points rakhe gaye wo sir kya hai inka process kya hai sahi maano mein uh, abhi tak jo ek policy framework tha a student was supposed to graduate uh, within 3 years or if he does not complete it in 3 years he or she was supposed uh, to be enrolled with a university where uh, he or she was supposed to complete the graduation now uh, a student starts his graduation say in university of kashmir but after one year he seeks an exit and decides to work for some time say for one year he or she works or he or she decides to go to some other institution say jnu so he or she pursues second year in some other institution so multiple entry and multiple exit points empower students to call it a day after one year after second year after third year so as per the current norms after third year the students will be eligible for all the competitive exams including civil services but he or she can continue till final year or the fourth year where he or she can then be eligible for phd or pg programs based on the academic record sir ek aur aham sawal national education policy beshak kashmir university mein lagu ho chuki hai lekin jo mukhtalif batches hai chahe wo cbcs batch ho ya semester batch 2015 ya annual scheme batch ho unme bahut sare talba ke backlogs honge kya unke liye backlog clear karne ke liye koi time limit rahega maximum duration kya rahegi aur sir ye backlog exams kab tak ho sakte abhi uh, we have received requests from the uh, annual schemes for division improvement and mercy chances so we have already submitted the case and hopefully by the end of this week we will have uh, the formal approval for uh, the division improvement and those students who have missed their graduation because of one or two papers so they can uh, apply for mercy chance or division improvement so there will be a standard procedure for those students who will complete their degree um, even when the national education policy will be in vogue the nep has started from the year 2022 in kashmir in jammu and kashmir and we are executing it from with the university of kashmir also from 22 but the matter of fact is that for the next couple of years since the graduation process is on as per the choice based credit system we will continue with that process and students who shall not complete uh, their graduation in stipulated time we will ensure that they get ample number of time and uh, periods to ensure that they complete their graduation within the stipulated or after the stipulated period हाल ही में कुछ महीने पहले हायर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट जम्मू व कश्मीर के लिए एक यूनिफॉर्म एकेडमिक कैलेंडर प्रपोज किया जिसके मुताबिक ऑर्ट सेम के एग्जाम्स दिसंबर में लिए जाएंगे और इवन सेम के एग्जाम जून जुलाई में लिए जाएंगे क्या यूनिवर्सिटी इस एकेडमिक कैलेंडर को अडॉप्ट करने के लिए पूरी तरह से तैयार है दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट स्टेप्स टेकन इन द राइट डायरेक्शन एंड यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कश्मीर वॉज द फर्स्ट यूनिवर्सिटी इन यू टी टू एड टू द यूनिफॉर्म एकेडमिक कैलेंडर Uh, this uh, will ensure that students have the defined time periods for the semester they will know exactly when the exams are to be conducted that is december and july the only concern which we have seen um, uh, coming from the parents and students is that about the weather but we uh, have to understand that weather condition is not only a problem in our uh, ut but across many parts of the world and 
in case the weather goes to that extent that there is such a heavy snowfall or it's not possible to conduct an exam, we will take a corrective measure. But as of now, University of Kashmir is up and ready for, to implement uniform academic calendar at the UG level as well as PG level. Sir, Eko Rahim Sawal. सर्नीचर को बी एल एल बी टेन सेमेस्टर के एक पर्चे का इम्तिहान मुनद हुआ तोलबा की शिकायत है कि पर्चा निसाब के बाहर रखा गया था जिस वजह से तोलबा काफी परेशान है उनकी मांग है कि ये पर्चा मनसूख करके नहीं से इम्तिहान लिया जाए देखिए देर इज अंडार्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर इन सच केसेज इफ स्टूडेंट एलेज पेपर वॉज आउट ऑफ सिलेबस वही सेंड इट एक्सपर्ट कमेटी if the expert committee is of the opinion that the paper was set outside the syllabus or it was not within the framework we will necessarily conduct an exam a new exam but it is not our uh, wish but it has to come as a recommendation from the expert committee which believes that the paper was not within the syllabus if it is so we will ensure we i ensure on behalf of the institution that if it is so that the paper was not within the syllabus then we will conduct exams afresh अक्सर स्टूडेंट्स की ये भी शिकायत रहती कि यूनिवर्सिटी के एग्जाम में जो हेल्पलाइन नंबर्स वेबसाइट पर डाले उन पे जब कॉल करते तो उनको रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं मिलता है किसी को ऐसा काम होता है जो फोन पे सॉर्ट आउट हो सकता है लेकिन रिस्पॉन्ड मिलने की वजह से उनको अननेसेसरी विजिट करना पड़ता है यूनिवर्सिटी सर इसकी वजह क्या है ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर हैज ऑलरेडी ऑथराइज्ड एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ सिंगल विंडो सिस्टम व्हिच विल कम इन टू फुल एग्जीक्यूशन बाय द नेक्स्ट मंथ we will have a dedicated uh, social media and uh, social networking team which will work which will connect to the students not only through the phones but also through the social media uh, you are already aware that social media is quite powerful and students are able to easily communicate with the institution with the help of devices the second thing is that we will be implementing uh, the new uh, single window system will ensure that timely response uh, is taken for the students for all their grievances and most of the services should be available online to the students this will ensure uh, that the students do not have to travel besides we are also looking at implementation uh, of nodal centers at north and south kashmir so that if in case a student has to visit he or she may visit to the local centers and not travel down to srinagar सर कुछ साल पहले यूनिवर्सिटी ने अंडर ग्रेजुएट लेवल पे ऑर्ड इवन सिस्टम लागू किया था जिसमें ऑर्ड सेमेस्टर के एग्जाम डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैटर्न और इवन सेम के एग्जाम ओएमआर एम बेस्ड होते थे जिस वजह से एक्यूरेसी और एफिशिएंसी बनी रहती थी कुछ महीने पहले यूनिवर्सिटी ने ओ एम सिस्टम वापस एबॉल्च करके सारे सेमिस्टर्स के एग्जाम डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैटर्न पर रखे सर क्या वजह यूनिवर्सिटी को इस बार मशीन मोड से वापस मैनुअल मोड पर स्विच करना देखिए दिस इज नॉट अचिंग ओवर फ्रॉम मशीन टू मैनुअल मोड Uh, i have a sense of disagreement on this point but uh, there have been a number of concerns uh, with um, uh, mcq based exams where the whole exam was based on mcq that we need to assess the student beyond objectives and they should have the learning and writing capability also so in competitive exams it works very well so it is not that we have abolished we will be uh, coming back with it because we have uh, new regulations national education policy so we will be creating uh, question banks which will be streamlined and have uh, try to club both the processes where there is a theoretical process and there is also uh, assessment based on objectives maybe at a later stage we will also try to have assessments based online based assessments because national education policy empowers students to do so सर एग्जाम सिस्टम में बेहतरी के लिए आपने बहस्त कंट्रोलर कौन से इकदाम उठाए और उसमें आप कितने कामयाब हुए देखिए एज ऑफ नाउ द जो हमने नए इनिशिएटिव्स लिए हैं एक तो वी एंश्योर दैट द डेट शीट इज इशूड एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द सेमेस्टर सो दैट द स्टूडेंट इज अवेयर दैट व्हेन द एग्जाम्स आर टू बी कंडक्टेड व्हिच पेपर इज टू बी कंडक्टेड व्हेन दिस आल्सो एंपावर्स टीचर्स दैट दे नो दैट उनको सिलेबस कब तक खत्म करना है the second thing what we did uh, is that we ensured that the, once the degree is completed a student does not have to wait for a couple of years to get his degree we send it to the uh, directly to the student within no period so fundamentally and the besides these things we are trying to digitize almost every process uh, for jo uh, teacher hazrat hai will try to convert entire process jo billing ka hai accounts ka hai that will be completely digitized process so we are getting done away with the manual kind of thing 
Next is that we have implemented a national academic depository via DigiLocker. And NEP has been implemented by University of Kashmir and we were uh, one of the leaders pan India. So certain things have already started and certain things are in the process of being started. But the visibility of changes uh, have are already there and some will be uh, in the coming months. The best part is that what we want, the biggest thing which we have tried to achieve in these months uh, is uh, we wanted to ensure that jo, uh, the, because of COVID or other reasons that the graduation had uh, extended. It had gone beyond three years. So the biggest uh, achievement uh, in this academic session, in this year, what we have achieved is that we have streamlined the graduation. And we are trying that jo purane bhi courses, the graduation courses, the, they shall be completed on time. So if you look at it from 2018 batch onwards, 19, 20, 21, uh, we are trying, we have issued the date sheets well in advance. We have defined the timeline so that the students will complete uh, their courses on time and become eligible for multiple things, not only for PG, but also for competitive exams. So to 2019 batch, they will be completing their graduation by the end of this year. Uh, likewise, the 2021 uh, batch, they will be completing it. To, uh, 2020 will be completing next year. So we have tried the time Jo Zaya Huata students go. We have tried to correct it and we have tried to ensure that uh, they will complete their degrees on time. Sir, results se pehle evaluation status manzare aam pe aata hai. Agar koi st uh, student evaluation mein diye gai mark se mutmain nahi hoga, us surat mein kya wo evaluation status ke doran, yani former result declare honi se pehle koi karwai kar sakta hai ya usko revaluation kahi intizar kar lehi? Hum, uh, jo hum is baar, uh, initiative lere, we are trying to club two processes the student uh, when he sees the evaluation status he will be allowed to apply for the revaluation there and then only so he we will not wait for the declaration of a result to start the revaluation process so there abhi that student is empowered to apply for revaluation only once the formal results are declared from this academic year what we will do once the status is available a student will be allowed to apply for revaluation for the specific papers and we will not keep any bar that he will be allowed to apply for two papers only, cut across all the papers if he or she is not uh, satisfied with the mark. So once the result is declared, the revaluation result will be declared within two days after the declaration of the formal result. So it's an empowerment. Students don't have to wait months altogether for the declaration. So this is our new initiative where we will ensure that two things are clubbed. The result status and the uh, evaluation, this revaluation process will be clubbed. So once the result is formally declared within 24, within 48 hours, we will also declare the revaluation result. Sir, एक और अहम सवाल जब university की जानब से result declare होता तो अक्सर देखा जाता है कुछ students को result में N या L O दिखाते हैं। इसकी क्या वजह है sir? तब students को क्या कुछ करने की जरूरत है? क्योंकि students बेखबर हैं इस बात से confused रहते कहाँ जाए तब कहाँ पे ठीक होगा? जिस वजह से उनको काफी मुश्किलातों का सामना करना पड़ता है? Yeah, there are secluded cases of NA or LO and there are some legitimate reasons for that. Kabhi student apne center pe nahi pahunch paata and then he appears in some other center. Uh, uh, so it's a kind of a stray case. Then we have to identify that he was not absent but he was had appeared at some different center and we have to correct these results. Kabhi kabhi koi paper uh, evaluate nahi hota hai jiski wajah se that we have to get it evaluated afresh. Uh, so there are these are very small uh, issues, but they become an issue for a student who suffers with this. So for that, we will uh, we have a streamlined process that student has to submit an application. We will be allowing the student to submit this application online. Already, Jojo, we emails ke through aate hai, so we don't want students to physically travel down here. So the process is that the student has to submit a claim that he or she has appeared for the paper and uh, it needs to be corrected or evaluated. Ek akhri sawal, university mein grace marks are koi provision hai? Okay, I think uh, we should move over this idea of grace marks. And, uh, ek zamana tha grace marks the. Kabhi kabhi kisi kisi course mein hume government, uh, jaysay middle council of India ki regulation hoti hai ki that a student gets. But fundamentally, uh, jo abhi humare pe statutes implement kar rahe hai, that we are going to have we, we are not going to have grace marks as such the way it was being executed in past and students should also try that in view of national education policy where the empowerment is 
uh, to a large extent. Besides, a student is not required to complete all his courses from the host institution. They can come from other institutions as well. So, and Academic Bank of Credit um, implements this. So, the, at the end of the day, uh, we should think that grace is a matter of past. So, Nazreen, the University of Kashmir ki controller examination is that Maab Jinaab Dr. Maaj Zaman Saab. Ye hamari khush kismati ki unhi ne kimi lamat mein se kuch vakt hamar sab baat chit karne mein nikala. So, the Kashmir student mein baat karne ke liye bahut bahut shukr. My pleasure. Thank you. So, Nazreen, dijiye mujhe apni mezban zabrin aashu ko ijazat Allah ne ke baan.